Right now, we'll stay with the college ranks, and we have a special guest on the Boardwalk Honda Hotline today. Baker Dunleavy, he's the head coach of the Quinnipiac Bobcats men's basketball team. You may recognize that name. He is the son of Mike Dunleavy Sr., the longtime NBA coach. And he's part of the MAAC Give Back program. Baker's team will be visiting the Richmond School this Thursday morning for an assembly and in-class sessions. The New Jersey Education Association will be also on hand. They are the new title sponsor of the league's reading program. It's the 26th year of the MAAC Gives Back program. And we're glad to have Baker joining us right now on the Boardwalk Honda Hotline. Baker, how are you doing on this Saturday? Hey, Josh. I'm doing really well, man. I'm happy to be with you. Glad to have you on board. So, you know, before we start talking about you and the team, I just kind of want to get your perspective on, you know, the MAAC Give Back program. I know that, you know, a lot of times we don't always get a chance to talk about, you know, the good that the sports teams and their players and their coaches do in the community. I think this is a great thing that your conference and your team is going to be doing with Atlantic City here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I think, um, you know, all the, all the teams within the MAC during this year have made their dedication to uh, appear in one way or another within the schools in Atlantic City. And a big part of our directive is to uh, promote, promote literacy and reading um, within schools. And then also just kind of give kids a view of our guys, you know, guys that um, were very similar to them growing up that end up in college, end up playing athletics in college and, um, you know, go to that, that final goal of, of getting to the university level academically. So I think it's a big, a big positive for everybody. And we're also in the league really excited to be playing our conference championship down in Atlantic City at Boardwalk Hall uh, this spring for the right to go to the NCAA tournament. Absolutely. The MAAC Basketball Championship is March 10th to the 14th. Tickets are now available at Ticketmaster.com or by visiting MAACsports.com slash basketball. You know, Baker, you know, your your history is very interesting because of the fact that, you know, you're the son of a famous basketball coach. You were on a great coaching staff at Villanova. You know, just kind of give the folks an idea. You know, it, it seems like when we look at everything that's happened to you, it seems like you know, you've had a lot of great opportunities to absorb a lot of great information. Do you feel that same way about the way your life has played out? Yeah, I've been been really fortunate. And I think, um, you know, I think given anytime you're, you're raised by somebody in a certain occupation, you can either love it or you can run away from it. And my brothers and I all fell in love with the, the game of basketball at an early age. My dad was an NBA coach and, and – um, I've just been lucky to have access to a lot of a lot of information, a lot of exposure to basketball at a high level, and I've, I've loved it from day one. And then having, you know, the fortune to play at Villanova and play for a coach and work for a coach like Jay Wright, um, you know, it doesn't get much better than that. So I think like anything, <laughs> anything in life, if you're exposed to people who are doing things well, all, all you really have to do is, is learn, watch, and try and replicate them, and that's kind of what I've tried to do. You know, I remember, you know, your dad, my favorite team he coached was those Portland Trailblazer teams in the late 90s, early 2000s. And, you know, I feel like when I, I watched his teams, when I watched Jay Wright's teams, and I saw a little bit of Quinnipiac last year. I feel like there's a there's a thread. And that is all those teams do know how to play defense. And I feel like that's that's a highlight that you have brought from everywhere that you've experienced. And now your Quinnipiac team now. Well, I think I think that's hopefully the case, and, and it's, uh, you know we've we've been better defensively everywhere I've been. The older we've gotten, uh, the more mature we've gotten. I think in the NBA, you know, with, with my dad's teams again, they were good defensively with guys like you know, look back and I think guys like Scotty Pippen and Rasheed Wallace and all those guys on the same team. And then for us, it's kind of the same thing as developing that grit, that toughness, that physicality as guys get older because. You know, for those of you who watch, all, all of us that watch college basketball, any college sports, there's a big difference between 22 and 23 and uh, 17, 18. And I think once your team grows together and, and um, you know, learns your system but also gets bigger and stronger and more physical, that's when you're going to be at your best defensively. So we're still growing into that in year three here um, at our helm of the program. But that's going to be a big part of us having any, any opportunity to win a championship. And one of the guys going to have a big part of that is going to be Rich Kelly, your junior guard 
averaging 17.4 points per game. In your view, what, what has been the, the biggest evolution in Rich's game? As I know, a lot of people in our audience, when they go see the games in March, I know he's going to be one of the guys you're going to be keeping an eye on. Yeah, Rich for us is a guy um, to get, you know, he's, he's been overlooked a lot in his life. He's, he's not the biggest in stature. Um, you know, he's not the most athletic. He's not going to wow you with windmill dunks, but he's a guy that gets it done on toughness and skill and understanding of the game, and he can shoot it from anywhere. So, you know, not a guy that was offered many scholarships out of high school, and when I got the job at Quinnipiac, he was available, and it's been a great fit, and, um, you know, he's really taken the opportunity. So, he was all, all Mac conference selection last year as a sophomore, which is hard to do, and he was preseason first team, you know, voted by the coaches this year. So, he's really he's really taking advantage of the opportunity, taking the lead of our team, and uh, we kind of go as he, as he goes offensively. Baker Dunleavy joining me on the Boardwalk on the hotline on 97.3 ESPN. Quinnipiac will be a part of the MAAC Basketball Championship Tournament coming to Atlantic City March 10th through 14th. Tickets are available right now at Ticketmaster.com. And, and Baker, I think it's great for someone like you to be coaching a, a school like Quinnipiac also because these are young guys who you're bringing experience that, you know, maybe a lot of other people don't get to have that kind of information to feed off of. You know, you've been around great coaches. You've been a player and a coach. And I think sometimes it gets overlooked the value of having that kind of person on a coaching staff and working with young people. Yeah, and I think, well, I mean, really a lot of the things you're trying to impart on kids are things that you've learned. And, and a lot of what I've learned are from the players. And I've, I've coached guys like, you know, Josh Hart, Mikhail Bridges, Jalen Brunson, you know, Cherry Hill product um, that well, I've learned as much from them as, as I've taught them. So you, you learn, as a coach, you learn a lot from the players, that, what they do naturally, how they respond to things. And then over time, you try and impart that on the players that, that you coach down the road. And so that's the cool thing about coaching, about teaching, about anything in life is you're always teaching, but you're always learning as well. And, um, you know, that's certainly the case with our team, our team this year and how, how we'll continue to be. So, we're really excited, and, um, you know, I think obviously being in Atlantic City for our championship this year with schools in our league like Ryder and Monmouth, uh, certainly for us, a lot of jersey ties in terms of our alumni base. I think it's going to be a great thing. And I know today you're uh, traveling up to Maine for your next game, correct? We are. We're on the, uh, the six-hour rainy bus ride up to Orno, Maine, but once we get on the court, none of that matters. <laughs> The reason I'm asking that is because I find it interesting that in college basketball, a lot of times it's much deeper into the season that college basketball gets into their conference schedule. You guys haven't you know, played anybody in your conference yet. You look around college basketball. You know, do you feel like that's the best way to do it, that like, you know, the whole month of November and part of December is basically almost like a warm-up for the conference season? I think it's kind of the way it's always been. Um, so I think we're all used to that. Times are now changing. We will go to a 20-game league slate next year, as do most leagues. And what you're going to see now more often, and you're already seeing it within big conferences like the ACC, is those conference games, because there's not enough room on the back end of the, of the New Year holiday, they're moving at least two games into November, December. So... Uh, we will do the same. We'll start playing our league games in December next year. So I've enjoyed it because it does give you kind of like that that uh, test period before your league play. Because for us, you know, our league, you know, the winner, like I said, the winner of our league in terms of the tournament goes to the NCAA tournament. So this this season for us and every season is really about us being our best a few days in March. So it, it allows you to kind of build things up. So that will remain the same, even though we play a couple of conference games within November, December. But, you know, for college basketball fans, you're going to get, as you do this year, you're going to get the, um, you know, Louisville, North Carolina matchup sometimes in November, which I think is good for fans as well. Baker, I want to touch on with you also, you know, like we mentioned earlier, you come from a basketball family. Your dad was a coach. Your brother played in the league for almost a couple of decades. And I think the, the coolest part, though, for your family is that both you and your brother played at the Division One level. And that's not that's something a lot of families can say to say that, you know, two brothers got to play that high level of basketball like you guys did. 
Well, he, if, we may have both been in Division One, but he was he was at a different level than me. So, uh, you know, being at Duke and being an All American, number three pick in the draft, he was um, he was he was pretty good. I was pretty average, but he, he's he's a very good player, and I learned a lot from him. And also just watching his way through the NBA and learning a lot from his experience as well. I, you know, not not intentionally, but being a little bit lesser talented of a player, I was kind of a coach in training from a from a younger age. But now, um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm excited that I've been exposed and been a part of the experiences that I have. And I think a lot of the coaches that you see out there, a lot of times, are guys who you know, wanted to be great players and love the game, but maybe didn't fulfill what they wanted to as players, and they still have a lot to prove. Um, and I think I certainly fall into that category. Speaking of experiences, give the audience a, a, a little tidbit of something that you took away, the biggest thing you know, from Jay Wright working with him and his staff. Oh, man. Well, I think the thing about Coach Wright, for those, for those of us that follow college basketball, I think he gets so much credit for um, – He's, he's just such a charismatic guy, the way he dresses, the way he carries himself. He makes people feel um, like they're the most important person in the world, and it's genuine, you know, just, just his charismatic personality. But then behind the scenes, you know, what he does, now that I'm a head coach, what you appreciate is his consistency. And, and he knows what he cares about. He knows what he doesn't care about, and he spends time at everything he thinks that matters. And he's so consistent um, and how he holds people accountable to that, how he teaches that, how he holds himself and his own program accountable. Uh, he knows what his program should look like. And he admits the things that they're not going to be good at, but, but he knows what their values are and he sticks to those, preaches those and teaches those as well as anybody, I think, in the country. And it's really shown in, in their performance. Well, Baker, we're looking forward to seeing you guys in Atlantic City again it's the MAAC Kids Back program. You guys will be in Atlantic City on Thursday, then back in for the tournament in March, March 10th to the 14th. I know people are looking forward to seeing guys like Tyrese Williams and Rich Kelly and yourself in the MAC tournament. Best of luck throughout the season. We look forward to seeing you guys on the floor at Boardwalk Hall in March. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it, man. We're looking forward to being in AC. That's Baker Dunleavy joining us at Boardwalk on the hotline on 97.3 ESPN. Again, you can get your tickets for the MAAC men's and women's tournament. They're both coming to Atlantic City March 10th to the 14th. Tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com or by visiting maacsports.com slash basketball. Tickets prices range from $10 to $40 for single session on the women's side and $15 to $50 for single session on the men's side. All session tickets are available as well. I personally would recommend getting the all session tickets because of the fact that there's a lot of these games that you don't know how close and how tight they're going to be until you get there. And a lot of times if you get the all session tickets, you have the opportunity to see multiple games, see multiple matchups all the way to the final. Remember, whoever wins this tournament, they get an automatic seed into March Madness. So definitely want to check that out again. Ticketmaster.com. We thank Baker Dunleavy for joining us on the Boardwalk Honda Hotline.